Hello guys, Brian and GFX here. And today I'm going to do my first tutorial for this channel. And it's going to be um, in Cinema 4D and it's going to be about dynamics. Um, and we're going to be using the spring and the connector. So if you just go open up Cinema 4D. And uh, first off you just want to create a floor. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and make a sphere or whatever object you want to move. Maybe you could use a capsule or a uh, cylinder or something and then you just want to move up and then you want to create a torus or another object which is going to be affected by it as well you just want to move that up as well and change the radius of it If you want to do what I just done there, which is a uh, center exactly in the sphere, you just want to make it a child of the sphere, and then just go to command, character, command, and then reset PSR, and then it will make it directly in the center. So then, um, it's directly in the center. So next thing you want to do is go to the floor, go to simulation, dynamics, and create collider. And then I'll just remove this as a child. And then these two, you want to click the torus or sphere and then hold control, click on the other object. And then go to simulation, dynamics, create with your body. And then if we play now, they'll just fly apart, but they will bounce off the floor because that is the rigid body. And if we delete the rigid body tag it will just go straight through so just add a collider to that again and then you want to go down to simulation again dynamics and connector so you want to put the connector underneath the sphere and then go into the connector go to character commands reset PSR so then it's directly in the center again and you want to go drag the sphere into the object A and then the torus into object B and now if we play as you can see it connected so now we need to make a motor to make the sphere move so to do that you just want to go to simulation dynamics and then motor and then as you can see it will come up with this uh, thing like a line and then two little arrows so you want to just make this again a child of the sphere go to character commands and reset PSR that's directly in the center so you want to go and then if you click on the motor again sphere object A Taurus object B. Now if we play, as you can see, it starts moving. I'll just uh, make the time run a little bit longer. Now. Obviously, if you want to make it go faster, then you go to the motor. And you, instead of regulate speed, you want to put apply force. And then maybe put it to maybe. Um, 150, as you can see it goes a lot faster but it spins more than it goes so to change that you want to go to the sphere and it will be under um, collision and then the friction you just want to increase this to about 90 and then if I click on the sphere again as you can see it's moving a lot faster
Oh, let's do it. Stop that there. So, um, as you can see, we've made it maybe for a little bit. I'll oh, just uh, lower us down to maybe. Um, it's a lot slower. So now um, I was going to show you my way of lighting the scene and materials and stuff. So uh, first off we're going to material the sphere. Like this right, for this I'm just going to do a luminous tab. And I'm going to create a for now. White for white. Which is white and then I'm just going to have a just off point. So it's slightly different, I might uh, switch those around. That's better. Maybe that's too much of a grey. Slightly better. So uh, obviously you want to add reflection. Then again for now. Lower them down a little bit. And then turn off specular and uh, I think that will do for the sphere. Grab that one. And that will look pretty cool. For this guy, okay. For this guy, okay. One, no. We've we'll got softbox. To here. And add a global illumination. Oh. Oh, it's gonna take long because I'm recording Camtasia. Shouldn't have that long. As you can see, you're getting the most reflections there. You might actually just turn off. Global illumination. Might have a little bit better. There you go. That's nice. So, now I'm just gonna uh, duplicate that and for this I'm going to do a nice stripy texture so uh, instead of doing for now I'm gonna go to gradient and then the gradient I'm going to make a light uh, cyan into maybe a light pink and then let's drag this over Actually, no, I'm going to do a candy cane stripe actually. So I'm going to make another one and it's going to be completely white. Um, that'll do. Isn't as good as. It, that isn't a proper candy strike, but I like the look of that. Drag that onto our toes. Well, that's look, looking pretty nice, I reckon. Yeah, that looks nice. As you can see, we've added some light light, and obviously, you would add global illumination if you were doing it. But, um, I'm not going to because I'm recording Camtasia and it would slow our computer down quite a lot because it's so crap. So yeah, um, just a pretty simple tutorial, um, this is my first one, so give me some requests that you want for a tutorial, I can do uh, my desktop background if you want, I think it looks pretty sick to be honest, the way it blends in with the background, like a carbon look and the smoke, um, so if you want a tutorial for that, I'm saying, um, just comment, and uh, yeah, it will be fine then. And I should do it at all. Um, so uh, yeah, bye. Thanks for watching. And uh, see ya.